This is an opinion column. There's been a lot of talk about critical race theory lately, and I've felt at a loss. I've heard so many conflicting things about critical race theory, I've gotten more and more confused. So I did what middle-aged white men are prone to do, I asked another middle-aged white man. But not just any. I called an Alabama lawmaker, State Representative Chris Pringle, R. Mobile, who wants to make it illegal to teach critical race theory in Alabama. The 2020 Alabama legislative session ended last month, but Pringle is already primed for the next one. He recently pre-filed a bill, almost eight months before the next session is scheduled to start, and he's been talking it up on the radio. So what does his bill say? It's pretty simple, Pringle said. All it says is you can't teach critical race theory in K-12 or higher education in the state of Alabama. That is a short bill, if not a simple one. But it didn't answer my question. What is this critical race theory educators would be forbidden to teach? Pringle has seen enough legislation to understand the law requires specificity. Many bills begin by laying out their legal definitions. How would his bill define critical race theory? It basically teaches that certain children are inherently bad people because of the color of their skin, period, Pringle said. That sounded very serious, indeed. Nazi-like, even. So I asked Pringle if there were any critical race theorists he could point to who have been spreading such toxic garbage. Yeah, uh, well, I can assure you, I'll have to read a lot more, he said. I began to get the feeling that Pringle didn't know as much about critical race theory as I had hoped. Were there other examples he could give me where critical race theory was being put into practice? These people, when they were doing the training programs, and the government, if you didn't buy into what they taught you 100%, they sent you away to a re-education camp, Pringle said. Pringle was a little difficult to follow but this sounded serious. These people, whoever they were, sounded terrifying, and if there were re-education camps operating in America, that would be big news someone like me should get to the bottom of. I asked Pringle, who were these people? Pringle is a realtor, a home builder and general contractor and he dug through what he called his executive suite, the cab of his pickup truck, looking for an article he'd read. After a few moments of silence, he began to speak again, this time a bit haltingly. Here's an, it doesn't say who it was, it just says a government that held these, these training sessions. Pringle trailed off and I told him that, if he liked, he could send me a link to the article, but then he began to speak again. The white male executives are sent to a three-day re-education camp, where they were told that their white male culture wasn't there, he trailed off again. I was worried that we'd lost